A clinical approach to tackling crime is being looked into by St. Lucia's chief medical officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar George, at a recently held awards evening of the St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association. Dr. George pointed to worrying crime and violence statistics and their impact on the health system. If we look at the top 10 causes of death in men, and for 2020, I did not use data that's um, more recent because it's not validated as yet. You'll notice that assaults are now the number five for men. It's gone up to number five, and I'm not, I would not be surprised if when we look at 2021 and 2022, or even 2023 data, it's a lot closer up the line. The crime statistics against property and against person were the highest crimes for the period 2012 to 2021. So that's, this is what our crime statistics look like for the last um, 10 years. So crime against persons and against properties. And this came from the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. These were the main areas that we note with crime in St. Lucia. According to data collected from the Ministry of Home Affairs, assaults accounted for 57% of the top five crimes committed against persons. The chief medical officer notes that while assaults have been on a downward trend, another, more disturbing pattern is on the rise. We noted a decrease in crimes against persons for the period 2012 to 2021. And the statistics collected indicate a reduction in the number of assaults over the past 10 years. Now, when I noted this data, I also wondered about reporting. But this was the data that came from the, our home affairs. Um, looking at how crime has changed and, and the different causes over the last 10 years. As expected, the increasing trend that we note in homicides for the past 10 years, I did not include what was given to me for 2022 because it was not complete, but from what I saw, it was already more than what we saw in 2021, and based on where we're heading for 2023, we expect it to be even higher. So how does St. Lucia compare with other Caribbean nations when it comes to crime? Now, child homicide rates for 2017, and we know the more recent data will be even higher. Look at St. Lucia. And when, because they, they use up to 17, because of what's happening between the, the early teenage years for us here, so what we're seeing, our region is the higher, has the highest homicide rate in the world. Homicide resulted in 194,000 deaths in 2019. The homicide rates are particularly high for men. The age group, 0 to 17 years, the early start of violence. The region of the Americas has the highest child homicide rate in the world, with 5.8 as compared to the global average of 1.7 and particularly high for boys um, as compared to girls. But we still, when we look, compare girls with the rest of the world, we still double the numbers globally. Dr. Belmar George backed her argument of crime as a public health threat by demonstrating the interconnectedness of crime and its impact on public health, community, and the economy. She proposes a public health approach to mitigate crime. Looking at community policing, that is building positive relationships between law enforcement and the community to address crime collaboratively. And these, this is really the most important aspect where we look at the preventative measures. Environmental design, <clears throat> where we implement measures like improved lighting, security cameras, secure access to reduce crime opportunities crime hotspot analysis. We focus resources in areas with high crimes to deter criminal activity. 
youth programs. I spoke a little bit about that as well. Restorative justice, emphasizing rehabilitation and reconciliation instead of punitive measures to address crime and its root causes. Gun control, implementing stricter regulations on firearms to reduce gun-related crimes. Substance abuse, providing support and treatment for individuals. I indicated the link between substance abuse and crime. So we would need to address and provide supportive and provide support and treatment to individuals with addiction issues to reduce drug-related crimes. Education and awareness, educating the public about crimes, risks and safety measures, victim support services, offering assistance to crime victims in their recovery and to discourage retaliation, which we see in the children of persons involved in crime. It becomes a very vicious circle. And the economic development, improving economic opportunities in disadvantaged areas to reduce crime that's driven by poverty. The chief medical officer is advocating for a holistic approach to alleviate the social scourge of crime and violence plaguing the St. Lucian society.